We're currently about to head to the airport to pick up my parents. This is a trip we've been looking forward to for a very long time. My mom's first time to Europe and my dad's first time back for several years. <laughs> In this video, Tanner's American parents fly all the way from Utah to spend a couple weeks with us. We pick them up at the Nuremberg Airport and take them to our first travel destination, Salzburg, Austria. Unfortunately, they faced a couple flight delays, so our time was cut short. It has been a long day. Tanner's parents are troopers. They are up for going to Salzburg. But the views in the Austrian Alps definitely made up for it. All right, well, flash forward about six hours from the last take, and here we are sitting waiting to get some Thai food for lunch in Nuremberg because my parents' flight from the States to Amsterdam was delayed by over an hour, and they ran through the airport to try and make their next one, but they missed it. So unfortunately, they had to wait until five o'clock this afternoon to make a flight to come here to Germany. So it's been a very spontaneous trip for us here in Nuremberg today. We've been able to go to a little lake, we went shopping and now we're gonna get some lunch. Really a bummer because they didn't plan on having like a seven hour layover in Amsterdam, but that's just how it plays out sometimes. So before their flights were delayed, we had plans to go down to Salzburg tonight and explore tomorrow before making a quick turnaround to come back so that I can make it to work on Monday. But we're not even sure if they're gonna be up for that, especially seeing how many hours we already lost today. We'll see how that goes, but regardless, the rest of the trip, we're really excited because my dad lived in Belgium back in the late 70s, early 80s, and he hasn't been there since. So we're looking forward to going there with him and having him take us through some of the streets and the places where he lived and walked. We're really excited to see his impressions on how life in Belgium is now compared to it was 40 years ago. After Belgium, we have plans to visit Paris shortly and then make our way down through a lot of Western Germany to see some beautiful areas along the Rhine. If you watched our video several months ago, Rissa's parents came here in the early spring. We had an amazing time with them, but what's fun is that we're hardly going to touch any of those same places with my parents. So we're really excited about that to see some new places, new cities, new food, of course, and it'll be fun to have my parents here for a while. Tanner had to go and get some food, so I thought I'd pop on here and just say how grateful and so excited I am that Tanner's parents are going to be here with us. I've just been so homesick, honestly. If you follow us on Instagram, you've probably seen that. We've shared multiple times in our stories that we're just feeling a little mm, homesick and a little down. But I mean, honestly, we've made it a year and a half and this is the first time where we've really wanted to go home and just see them. So this timing, couldn't have been better for them to come. That's just the reality of moving abroad. For us, we just, we love change, we love travel, we love our house in Germany, we love where we live. Like there's so many things that we love here in Germany. And, and so it's easy for us to just, you know, weigh the pros against the cons. But I think it's kind of caught up with us that it's been a long time since we've seen friends and family. Sing your song about going to the airport. Sing your song about the airport. Ah. Woohoo! That was a creative song. It has been a long day. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, yeah, it's been a long day for us, and we haven't even been into airport. But the day is not over. In fact, our journey with them is just beginning. Tanner's parents are troopers. They are up for going to Salzburg, so we're gonna be arriving there late. But we're excited to be able to see a new city. We've heard incredible things about Salzburg. We at a airport. Yes, we at the airport. Oh, that's the airport there. Oh, that's not an airport. So close. Well, after all that waiting, I ended up having to go to the bathroom right as soon as we got here. And my mom calls and she's like, we're here. Oh, look, they're right over there. Let's go. Let's go. Hi. So last night we finally arrived to our Airbnb a little past 10 p.m. This morning we're driving a little bit into the mountains to go to our first stop the Schaffberg Bahn. Hopefully we're gonna get a break in the weather. It was forecast to be rainy and thunderstorms all weekend here, so we were kind of debating whether or not it would be worth it, but so far this morning it's looking like partly cloudy skies. Guess, guess where we're going? <laughs> All right. 
There you go. Woohoo! Don't lose that. Let's put the boat too. Let's go. Right in time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got lucky. There's a lot of people waiting in like the lower line. I noticed there was a different one that like no one was in. So I jetted over there. As we were getting the ticket, she's like, "Oh, you leave in like two minutes." I'm like, "Yeah." So she like printed them off and like ran. So we made it. Somehow we always end up cutting it close. This isn't even a ferry, you guys. Normally it's on the ferries that we're running to. This is a train. But we made it. We're here with Tanner's parents, and we can't wait. Willa is ecstatic. Just a few more lines. This is what we've been waiting for at the dawn of forevermore. We can stand on this ground so sure. This is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> That's why you're supposed to sit down on the train. <laughs> a cow is in the middle of the train tracks. Did we wait for the cows to go away and get off the train soon? Well, we made it to the top and unfortunately there was a lot of clouds on the way up and we were all taken off guard when the train lunged to a stop and we realized there was cows crossing the tracks. The railway covers over 1,200 feet of elevation gain and has some spots that's 26% incline. It got really steep and slow at some points, but a lot of fun. Willa really loves trains and she's warmed up a ton to my parents with them only being here for like 12 hours. <laughs> Literally, she wants nothing to do with Tanner and I, so that's kind of new for us. We're not used to it. Oh, look how cute that little... Look, they're coming again, yeah. The hornets are coming back yeah. again. You can feel the clouds, like, around us, like, it's super humid. It's really cool. After riding up this and seeing how steep it is, it's pretty impressive, and this happens to be the steepest incline of a cog railway in the world. And we hope that the clouds break and we get to see some of the panoramic views, because I'm sure from here, it looks incredible. But right now, <laughs> it's just coming in waves. It clears and then goes and clears and goes. We can't see the lake down below. We've got a couple hours up here, so we're gonna go and explore and hopefully at some time, the clouds break. Give our dreams to the rising sun. Make our way, we have just begun. We're closer to heaven, there's so much ahead. Well, it's still really beautiful that the clouds cleared up here, but everything else is just like a white blanket covering everything. Kind of a bummer, but still, regardless, really beautiful. But I've got to say, being on top of the clouds is a pretty cool feeling, huh? Yeah. Plus, now we've got like built-in babysitters for the next two weeks. Basically, yeah. This <laughs> is kind of nice. <laughs> right now she's like, Grandma, Papa, that's all she wants right now, so I guess and we'll I just have to I get some one-on-one time yeah. with this guy. Yeah. yeah. Clouds are going down over there. We'll give our dreams to the rising sun. Make our way. We've just been. So this is a Erbse Creme Suppe. 
It got really chilly when the clouds rolled in and we sat down and stopped walking around. And like the clouds are passing by us right now, so very nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is good though. <laughs> what do you think, Dennis? It's a <laughs> Too strong. strong? <laughs> no, no, it's just... no, this is good. Oh yeah. You gotta get used to it. It's like it's a creamy it's texture. Creamy, but it... It's, it's different than what we normally use. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just don't have it. Like yeah. This is what we've been waiting for. Forevermore. We can stand on this ground so sure. This is what we knew we would find. Leaving all of our doubts behind. Well, we didn't get to see a view from the very top, but it was still fun, and it's beautiful down here, mm -hmm. regardless. So now that we're done with the train, we're gonna make our way over to the lake for a boat cruise. So which be nice. is like a two-minute walk. So yeah, that's really convenient. Long. Yeah. <laughs> took the ferry all the way here to St. Gilgen. This is a breathtaking ferry ride. Cannot believe our eyes. The water here is very blue. Oh, it's so clean. Just want to jump in. There's a lot of people who have rented boats. They're on the stand-up paddleboard, on kayaks. It just looks so fun. Very, very picturesque. We didn't know about this location, honestly, until my in-laws recommended it. So we're really happy they did because we want to come back already. There it goes. Yeah, up there. Are they waving back? time in our day than we originally thought so we made our way back to Salzburg to explore the downtown area. Okay. Is that good? Should we do this every day? Huh? What kind of ice cream did you get? Do you like pink ice cream? 
just enter this. Well, we're just wrapping up our time here in Salzburg. There's a lot of narrow alleyways. Beautiful though, oh my gosh, the buildings, the arches, the architecture, everything about it's very beautiful. In the downtown area, there's a beautiful river splitting the city into two, and both sides are very popular. It's been very crowded today, but the weather's amazing, so we don't mind the crowds, and the food is good. We're ending out the night with some gelato, and Willa made sure to get pink ice cream. She's having a blast here with the grandparents. It's been a busy, but a wonderful day, and we're just so excited for more of the travels coming up. Stay tuned because we're about to take it to Belgium where Tanner's dad lived there for two years. So we're really excited for him to show us around, albeit it's been like 40 years since he was last there. So I'm sure he's going to be in for a surprise as are we. Thanks for being here you guys. We love having you joining us on these adventures. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and the subscribe button. It means a lot to us. See you guys.